Daniel 12, 9 says that the book, when finished, was sealed until the time. Yes. And then Revelation 22, 10 says, now everything is open. The two books are full of Jesus. Amen. Daniel 2, he, he shows up riding on a rock that fills the whole earth. Daniel 3, he hobnobs with sinners in a furnace cooling it by his very presence. You've preached it. Daniel 5, he shows up with a hand. <laughs> he just writes on a wall what's going to happen that night, and it does. In Daniel 7, we see Christ moving before the Father. Remember that vision? Son of man coming before the Father, a depiction of the, of the judgment to come. Daniel 9, he is predicted in the closing verses of that chapter. Daniel 10, Christ is seen wrestling against the prince of Persia, making sure that things come out just the way God said they would. And then in Daniel 12, he just stands up. You know, that's a bad brother when you just write a text that says, and when Michael stands up. You know, that's really an, un, an uneventful event. But, but when God stands up, it produces a text of scripture. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Revelation 1, he's in the midst of the candlesticks. Revelation 3, he's knocking at the door. We'll be back there in a minute. Revelation 5, he's Christ the Lamb. And in Revelation 6, he's Christ coming. Revelation 7, the Lamb in the midst of the throne. Revelation 10, Christ with the little book that must be eaten by the church. Sweet to the taste, but bitter to the stomach. Revelation 12, he's the little boy born and the devil waits on him. Revelation 14, the lamb with the 144,000. Revelation 19, Christ triumphant. And Revelation 22, Christ still coming. These books are the unveiling of the salvation of Jesus. Are you listening to me?